Morning, everyone. Over the course of his illness, the president has experienced two episodes of transient drops in his oxygen saturation. We debated the reasons for this and whether we'd even intervene. It was a determination of the team, based predominantly on the timeline from the initial diagnosis, that we initiate dexamethasone. Late Friday morning, when I returned to the bedside, the president had a high fever, and his oxy oxygen saturation was transiently dipping below 94%. Given these two developments, I was concerned for possible rapid progression of the illness. I recommended the president we try some supplemental oxygen, see how he'd respond. He was fairly adamant that he didn't need it. He was not short of breath. He was tired, had the fever, and that was about it. And we continue uh, to plan to use a five-day course of remdesivir. In response to transient uh, low oxygen levels, as Dr. Conley has discussed, we did initiate dexamethasone therapy and he received his first dose of that yesterday, and our plan is to continue that for the time being. Um, today, he feels well. He's been up and around. Our plan for today is to have him to eat and drink, uh, be up out of bed as much as possible to be mobile, and if he continues to look and, and feel as well as he does today, our hope is that we can plan for a discharge as early as tomorrow to the White House where he can continue his treatment course. So uh, the chief and I work side by side, and uh, I think his statement was misconstrued. What he meant was that uh, 24 hours ago, when uh, he and I were, were checking on the president, that there was that momentary episode of the high fever and, and that temporary drop uh, in the saturation, which prompted us to act uh, you know, expediently to move him up here. Fortunately, that was really a very transient limited episode. Well, the, the president uh, wears a mask anytime he's, he's around us, and we're all wearing our uh, N95s, uh, full PPE. Um, he's, he's the patient, and when we can, uh, when he'll move out into uh, to public, we move him about out and around other people that aren't in full PPE. Uh, I assure you, he'll, uh, as long as he's uh, still under my care, <laughs> That's it. Thank you, folks. Dr. Conley, on his lung scans. You're, this is again, you did this yesterday. Can you please explain what you found on his lung scans? Hey, Chief, you want to chat? 